Hi, I am Prakash Sharati. In this video discussion, you learn membrane separation in the food processing industry. The first part in the learning outcomes, the membrane techniques, its type, operations, and the construction of the membrane. These are the points covered. Membrane separation. It is a filtration process. The basic difference between the ordinary filtration process and the membrane filtration process is that membrane material, the membrane porosity, which is in the range of 10 days to minus 1 to 10 days to minus 4 micrometer. In this membrane separation technique, the membrane, which is the material in the form of the sheet, maybe single or the multi-layer sheet this is the thin layer material which is as a membrane material which is allowed to flow the sum of the certain compound in which the mostly solvent and the low molecular weight compound which are the passed in this membrane in the separation technique the basic principle is that separation on the basis of their size and the molecular weight you can see the basic terms involving in the membrane separation process that is the first feeding of the liquid whatever the liquid which is the feed must be required to under pressure then this is the semi permeable membrane material this is the semi permeable membrane material which is acted as a filter media the feeding under pressure the membrane which is allow only some of the low molecular weight component along with the solvent this is called as a permeate permeate that means the material which is flowing through the membrane it's called as a permeate and the remaining these are the concentrated concentrated means which are the non flowing material through the membrane in this non concentrated material involving mostly high molecular weight component or the larger size of the particles along with the solvent this is the simplest example in which the cross flow filtration process occurred and the, these are basic terms that means the semi permeable permeate concentrate membrane filtration by the water treatment process the water containing number of the contaminant particles along with the microbial loads these are all the microbial loads and the contaminant particles which are the trap in the membrane filtration process membrane material manufacturing process of the membrane in which the main basic material these are the class classified two group first polymeric material polymeric that means plastic polymers these are the examples of the plastic polymers during manufacturing process the different conditions and the parameters which are used as per the porosity of that membrane is change membrane may be single layer or the multi layers uh, available in the sheet form you can see this is the membrane material uh, some of the membrane may be made from the inorganic material like the ceramic, glass, fiber, metal, etc. In which the, the difference between them is that inorganic material which is the uh, stable for the high temperature, uh, different processing conditions. Membrane filters in which the porosity of the membrane and amount of pressure required to apply for the separation. As per they are categorized into main four types micro ultra nano and reverse osmosis in which the porosity range decreases from the micro to reverse osmosis and also amount of pressure required to be applied which is also increases from the micro to reverse osmosis you can see in this table these are the conclusions the some these are the parameters with respect to the type of the filters in microfiltration process, the basically microfiltration which is mostly used for only clarification process and remaining all ultra nano and reverse osmosis mostly used for the prepared to concentrate product and some cases they also use for the clarification process. In this image, you can see the basic uh, difference how uh, when the filtration process is occurred, these are the filters. This is the mi micro filters, this is the ultra filters, nano filters and the reverse osmosis and the porosity of that membranes and amount of pressure required for separation is achieved and during the filtration process the particle separation these are the particles which are the separated during the process the main two type of the flow system in membrane separation technique the first one is the dead end filter and second one is the cross flow filter 
dead end is ordinary filtration like in which dead end filtration system you can see this is the perforated support at the top of that perforated support membrane filter is and then feeding of the liquid under the pressure in which very containing suspended particles or the colloidal particles these are the deposited on the surface and the formation of the thin layer cake which is resist for the filtration process this dead end filtration system used for on only the batch type operations in the cross flow filtration system which is more popular in the membrane separation technique this is a simple example of the tubular membrane system in which the perforated tube inside provided with the membrane the fit at the center of the tube permit which is passed from the membrane to outside of the tube and whatever the concentrated which is flowing from the center to another end of the membrane tube in this process these are the particles are flowing along with the concentrated stream and we get the two streams that is the concentrated streams and second one is the, that is the permitted that is the filtered stream you can see this is also simple example in which the this is the dead end filtration system and this is the cross flow filtration system industry level process of the membrane separation technique the main process in which they are classified into three group that is the first batch system continuous system and the multi stage system in this batch system feed of the liquid fed material in which pressure must required by using the centrifugal or the reciprocal type of the pump feeding of the material with the control flow rate control temperature and the ph this is the cross flow filtration module this cross flow filtration system filtration is occurred and after that concentrated which is the concentrated is recycled into the tank in the batch system batch wise operated and finally we get the concentrated product into the in this tank and the filtrated which is filtered out in the filtration process the second system that is the continuous system in this continuous system similar to the batch system in which the product withdraw that means the whatever the filtration system is occurred after the filtration some part of the filtrate that is the concentrate this concentrate some part is recycled into the this tank and some part withdraw as a product that means percentage of the withdraw of the product and the percentage of recycling is fixed and in this process continuously feeding of the material with the constant flow rate with the proportion of the concentrate product also withdraw in this system and the continuous operation is the next last one is the multi stage system in this multi stage system the filtration that is the cross filtration system which is operated into the series you can see this is the first uh cross flow filter this is the second cross flow filter the first filtration is occurred after the filtration permit which is pass out from the membrane which is collected separately and after that concentrated which is fit for the second and uh, after the second filtration system we get the more concentrated product in this way we can operate into the series and uh, we can prepare the concert more concentrated product at the final the membrane filters are available into the four modules first plate and frame module then second tubular form then spiral wound form and hollow fiber form in the first module plate and frame modules you can see this is a plate and foam frame module is same as a plate and frame filtration system in this plate and frame module basically these are all four modules during the designing the all filtration parameters are considering that means more cross section area then more pressure build up during the filtration system and maximum rate of the filtration is achieved in these four modules in this plate and frame uh, filtration module you can see the simple arrangement of the plate and uh, frame system in this uh, plate and frame modules may be horizontal type or may be vertical type available uh, may basically in this these are the two membrane sheets the first sheet and the second sheet between the two sheets there should be the spacer that means spacer that is the frame 
which is the perforated material which is to allow the liquid flow between the two membranes you can see total construction of the plate and frame type of the membrane system in the first this is the plate then membrane then spacer then membrane then plate then again membrane then spacer then membrane at the plate in this way this plate and frame filtration system is arranged the liquid feed which is feed through the channel then liquid feed which is pass from the spacer and then after that filtration is occurred filtrated which is collected at the bottom and the concentrated that is the filtrated you can see the filtrated is collected from the passing from the permit and the concentrated that means concentrated which is uh, flowing from the spacer and collected at the bottom and which is collected separately as a concentrate product the next second one is the tubular model in this tubular model you can see the number of the tubes these are the number of the tubes which is fitted to inside of the external cell you can see this is the this is the tube tube which is the enlarged in which the tube internally this is the membrane and externally with the perforated support in this way these are the tubes are inserted in the inside of the cell you can see these are the tubes tubes which is the inserted into the external cell the feed material which is the feed the feed is entered into the inside of the tube flowing of the material from the inside of the tube and the cross flow filtration is occurred filtrated which is collected at the uh, bottom of the sections and the remaining concentrated which is the flow along with the tubes and collected at the another end of the tubular model the third design that is the hollow fiber modules consists of the number of the hollow tubes these are the number of the fibrous materials which is bundled and these bundles are inserted into the insert inside of the main tube the construction is similar to the tubular module and the working is also similar to the tubular module the only difference is that the instant of the tube these are the small fibrous hollow tubes these are the hollow fibrous tubes which are the number of the hollow tubes which are the bundled and these bundles are inserted to the the next last design that is the spiral wound system in the spiral wound system is more popular used for in ro system and the nano filtration system the construction in which it is consist of the this is the central pipe this is the central pipe with the central pipe with the perforations and the main layers in which the rectangular sheets first that is the feed spacer that means the space which is provided that means the feed is flowing from this feed spacer then membrane sheet then permeate carrier that means the plastic sheet which is carry the permitted liquid and the last layer that is the membrane filter that means two membrane filters these are the two membrane filters in between their permeate carrier and at the top provided with the feed spacer these are the four sheets which are wrap on the central tubes and finally the spiral wound module is ready for the filtration system in which after the wrapping of the all sheets externally with the at the top provided with the complete uh, plastic sheet in this separation technique the spiral wound se separation technique the filtration is occurred by the cross flow filtration system you can see this spiral wound is fitted to the inside of the main external casing or also called as a external tube feed liquid which is the flowing to inside of the spiral wound in which filtration is occurred that means feed spacer to the into the filter filter media and after that permitted which is passed from the permeate carrier and after that permeate carrier this permeate carrier enter into the central tube and uh, finally we get the permeate liquid these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation thank you very much